Hello viewers, I'm Good Luck and welcome to GL Tunes. Now, a lot of persons don't know how to fix their violin. You have a, you know, maybe while you're playing your string, one of the strings just snapped by chance or whatever reason. And uh, you get devastated and all those. You don't need to bother. You can fix your violin by yourself and tell you that. So I'm going to teach you how to fix your violin. In fact, we're going to dismantle the violin, we'll remove the pegs, the strings, the chain rest, the tailpiece, even the bridge, everything. We'll remove it and then we'll fix them back. So after this video, you should be able to fix your violin. Then in another video after this one, we'll teach you how to tune your violin. So let's get right into it. But before then, I would like you to click the like button and subscribe. So that you can get more notifications of new videos from us like the next one that will come. Let's get to it now. like that like that so okay it's somewhere loose now see that's off it's off okay then uh, the tail piece you can remove it now and this is the end pin so when this one this one can come out but fix it back now your tail your tail piece this belt like aspect of it sometimes it even gets spoiled maybe in a future video i'll teach you how to repair a uh, spoiled one or use something else to fix there if you have if it has if you're having an issue with yours so we want to begin to reassemble for four then i'll just clean up some dust Okay, I think um, okay. So the violin is this is the violin carcass, you know. <laughs> uh, don't mind all these stickers; they're just for fun, actually. So, want to begin to assemble the violin parts. We we'll start in no particular order, actually. We we'll start with the tail piece. Okay, then the, it was the last thing I removed, so let me put it back. Then the next thing to fix is the chin rest. The 
chin rest. Remember how you moved it? You tried to fix it again. Okay. What is that? One hint when tightening this chin rest, don't over tight it because it can disfigure the, this part of the violin over time. Yes, it can, I've seen a couple of violins that got disfigured because of this clamp being over tightened. So, I'm going to tighten now. That you to then go here so that it can be somewhat even. Okay, that's tight enough now. So with that in place, the next thing I want to do is to fix my strings. Now, with the strings come the tuning the tuning pegs. So I will begin to fix the tuning pegs, even though I will still touch them while fixing the strings. So I will tune, put the tuning pegs first. Now you see the right hand side of my body when it faces me, it's facing me. This point I'm going to skip the lowest hole and go to the next hole. That's for the E peg. Then um, I like this my tag, so I'll leave it there. I'll skip one more hole and go to the next hole for A. Then on the other side. I'll skip one hole. The one, okay, I don't need to skip. Those holes are fixed already. So, down this way. After this first hole, the next one there is the D space. Then the fourth one over here is for A, A peg. So, Strings, I'm going to fix them. You can get strings from the violin shop. This is the E string. So I'll start with the E string. Now, look here, you notice a hole on the violin peg, you notice another, uh, uh, that the hole is through up to this point, so I want to fix the string into that hole, like the eye of a, of a needle, and then twist it in a direction away from myself, as to tighten. This is the direction away from myself, and then don't let it get too tight. 
they should just be able to stay, stay there. So I'm going to fix the other strings now. Okay, I've fixed the other strings. I'm done with that now. And uh, sometimes you discover that your violin comes like this. The strings uh, bent behind like that, and then the the uh, bridge the kept somewhere else. So you have to bring out the strings and then fix the bridge. Now, how do we fix the bridge? If you look at your bridge, you see that one end is longer than the other end. So that end that is longer will face your G string while the end that is shorter will face the E string. So the longer side will be to your left while the uh, shorter side will be to your right. And let's do that. You see all these marks on my bridge? Uh, that's because that's from the strings over the time and uh, very soon I'll be changing my bridge so okay now to fix the bridge you look at your F hole you see some marks there pointing towards each other let's the bridge align with those marks this is not really a rule but it just helps 